Hi everybody, um, I had a question from a client today asking me a little bit about uh, link posting on Facebook. Uh, I thought I would answer it through screencast and uh, hopefully do a lot more of these soon in the future. Um, so the first thing that I, I think everybody should know is that you can, you know, you can post a link right in here. Um, and I actually had that from a previous uh, previous video. Um, so you can post a link and you can come take any link and the link that I'm going to use is the blog for uh, Brian Solis. Um, if you like social media and you like reading and you like PR or marketing or any of that, this is a great blog. Um, he has some great great articles that really, you know, make you ask questions and think for yourself, I think, um, and get some of your own. Uh, so anyway, you know, I took this link and I'm going to copy it with my lovely uh, Command-C hotkeys um, on, on a Mac right now, and then I'm going to paste it in here. Now, what you can do is you can hit attach, um, now, and also add a message up here. Um, I'm not a big fan of this because you don't have that much control over it. Uh, you can't see if... Uh, you can't see if anyone's clicked it, you can't track it, but also um, if you have a really long link it can get kind of messy kind of fast. Um, so I'm going to take that out of there and I'm actually going to post the link over to my uh, Facebook fan page and I think that would be a better match. Um, here's one that I did earlier. So what I'm going to do again is not um, add the link but instead I'm going to say okay you know here is do -do -do. Alright, so I'm going to go in here and um, I'm adding all caps for a few reasons. Uh, this is actually caps and hashtags because this is going to go onto my status. It's also going to go to Twitter. So I'm formatting it for both. Um, and I've also found that adding caps is a really great way to add structure to your tweets. Um, and it really gets a lot more people interested in terms of, uh, you know, it's much easier to read if you're reading through, you know, five, six thousand posts or, you know, browsing through a fast moving feed. So what I'm going to do is I still have that, um, I still have that URL copied. I'm going to go down to my Twitter client, which is uh, actually Seismic Desktop. It's a great one for multiple accounts. And I'm going to go over here. It says add URL. Um, I'm going to paste that in there. And as you can see, I have Bitly already set up with my account so that I can track it. And I'm going to hit OK. Um, what that's going to allow me to do is I can take that and I can cut it and I'm going to take it back to my Facebook fan page and I'm going to paste it. Now you have this clean bit.ly link which is really nice and also trackable. Um, right down here, again, I'm not a big fan. You can control, you know, which thumbnail you're using. It doesn't really, I mean, yeah, oh, welcome. Um, I'm not a big fan of this particularly because it's just a paragraph. It's just the first text on the site. So I'm actually going to take that out because I like the clean. Uh, the clean look. So, you know, simple enough, that's all set up, and you're just going to hit share. Um, and I have to do the CAPTCHA right here, so T-O-C-C-O-A, CLOY, I don't know what TOCA CLOY is, but let's hit submit. Alright, and so, if Facebook would like to work for me, uh, apparently I got that wrong. Yeah, Oops, something went wrong, oh, so now they noticed. Uh, yeah, Elton is so famous that he is now captured. All right, submit. So that's going to go into my feed, and that's also going to post over to my uh, Twitter account in just a little bit here. So I really, um, I really love the Bitly linking because it's you know one of the really great services that allows you to track your links. And I'm going to go back over to my Bitly homepage, and you can see that the last link that I shortened was Brian Solis, and I have actually. Well, I've gotten four clicks to that right off the bat out of uh, 1,600, and I believe that's in the last seven days. Um, but I can continue to track that and see, you know, okay, well, are the all caps format working? You know, what can I change to get a few more clicks? Um, and so, yeah, that's about how you uh, how you format things for Facebook in terms of link posting. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments as a text or video response. Thanks.